Hey, what's up guys? George from MyNaturalHerniaCure.com and uh, just this, this is just another update. I wanted to update you guys on uh, how my hernia is doing again. So um, today's uh, January 4th and um, I took the, I, on New Year's Eve, I woke up in the morning. Um, I was, well when I got up I was still laying in bed and I started feeling like some really bad, it felt like really bad gas pains. It was kind of weird, um, like really bad, like like it was like a stabbing pain in my intestines, like like really bad gas. It's like, man, what is going on? And then uh, I ended up getting up out of bed and you know went and like made breakfast and stuff, and it and it went away. And I realized that for some reason, like I didn't feel it. Like normally after I eat breakfast or like. You know, sometimes I'd feel a little bit of pressure, just a tiny bit enough to make me think, okay, I, I need to put the hernia belt on just so that nothing happens. I just want to make sure that I, I don't even feel the pressure at all. And uh, that day, New Year's Eve, after I ate breakfast, there was nothing. I was like, I didn't even feel like anything at all, like n nothing. So I didn't put the hernia belt on and I just like kind of went about my day, uh, you know, doing all kinds of stuff. I was moving around. Um, you know, just staying pretty active. Um, and then by the middle of the day came around, I ate lunch. Usually at least at, like after I ate lunch, I would normally start feeling like, you know, a little bit of pressure if I didn't have the hernia belt on. Um, I didn't feel anything at all. So I decided to keep going and just, you know, went, I went all day New Year's Eve with no hernia belt on, nothing. I, I didn't feel any pressure. I didn't see any bump at all. Um, I was up, you know, till one in the morning, whatever. We were, I was on my feet, we went to a party. I was, I was, you know, walking around. Um, you know, everything, everything normally that would have, there, there should have been pressure on the hernia after that many hours and there was nothing. I ate all my meals, I ate everything and there was no, there was no pressure, no, no lump, no nothing. So I decided the next day on New Year's Day to do the same thing and same thing, there was absolutely nothing. Um, and same thing, I was out mowing the lawn, I was like, I was doing stuff all day long and, and still no bump, no pressure. So I was like, I was like super excited because I haven't had the hernia belt off for that long in, I don't know, a couple of years. I haven't been able to take it off for that long. So, um, so then um, that, was a, that was the first, then I left it off the second. The third, um, I ended up doing the same thing. I kept it off and the only time that I felt anything at all was when I sat down to play the drums and that's when I, I normally that's when I normally am not able to keep it in is when I'm playing the drums because I'm kind of I'm sitting down and I'm kind of lean forward a little bit and it, it must be like a really hard position to keep your abs like that part of your abs tight so that's that would be the time like normally even when I was wearing the hernia belt or whatever that would be the one time where it was hard to keep in was when I was leaning forward a little bit playing the drums um, so I felt it a little bit. That was uh, yesterday. I put the hernia belt on for a little while, and then I, I played the drums for I don't know an hour and a half or whatever. And then um, I kept the hernia belt on for a couple hours and then took it off. There was nothing, nothing at all. No pain, no pressure, no no lump. Um, and then today, today's January fourth. Um, I had I took it off. I haven't had it on the t this morning at all. Ate breakfast. No lump. No pressure, no nothing. So, man, I'm I'm getting really close to having this thing healed. I can I can feel it when I look down. I actually looks different. That area just looks different. Where before I would look down and I could see kind of like a um, it was almost like a dent, like where the hole is, like where the hernia would normally come out. If it wasn't poked out, I could see there was kind of like an indention there. And the other side didn't have that. And now both sides look exactly the same. And when I when I touch it, before when I would touch it, I could feel that there was like a um, there was like a void there, you know, kind of it kind of felt soft there where the hole was, and not like that. It felt tight on the other side. And uh, and now when I touch it, it feels more like the other side. It's still not as tight as the other side is, but it is. It looks and feels definitely different than it did before. So. I think the exercises that I was doing are working and um, the mindset and everything that I've been doing is, is definitely working. I mean, there's no, 
there's no there's no other way to explain why all of a sudden I can go for five days without wearing the hernia belt except for just a couple hours while I was playing the drums you know and before I mean a year ago I couldn't even as soon as I wake up at it woke up out of bed I would have to put the hernia belt on because I have this you know lump the size of two golf balls hanging out almost onto the, to the ridge of my pelvis so I mean I'm definitely getting better and if it's not all all the way healed right now I'm really close. Um, that the the weird thing is I'm trying to figure out is that I don't understand what the what all the gas pains were that morning because I normally I'm not gassy like that. I don't feel like that because of my diet. I make sure that you know I'm eating foods that don't cause intestinal swelling and don't cause gas and things like that. I try to manage that. And um, that morning, it was like excruciating gas pains. It was like the weirdest thing, but. That and then that morning, that's when I woke up and I was like, man, it kind of feels like tight. Like my, it almost was like my intestines like shifted over, or there's something. I'm not sure what it was. It was really weird. So if anybody has any idea of what, what that could have been, um, you know, leave a comment. Let me know. I, I don't know. It was really weird, but um, it was definitely like notable that I had really bad pains in my stomach that morning. And then I woke up and haven't had to wear really wear the hernia belt since then. So. Um, I'm super excited. I'm going to keep it rolling. I'm still doing the exercises. Um, you know, still got the, the right frame of mind where I'm, you know, I'm going to do this and heal this thing naturally without surgery, uh, no matter what it takes. Um, and just keep rolling with it. So I'm, uh, if I'm not there right now, I'm really close. I wouldn't necessarily go and like work out and be flipping tires and lifting weights and stuff like that without the hernia belt on because you know I, I don't want to do anything to set myself back so if I do that I'm going to you know put the hernia belt on but um but yeah everything's it, it really good it feels so good not to have to wear the hernia belt even though I, I'm, it's I realized that it was such a uh I feel so comfortable with the hernia belt like I feel so secure like once I put the hernia belt on usually it's like, oh, I can, I can relax and like do all the things that I want to do. But the more I have the hernia belt off without feeling the hernia and without feeling any pressure or anything like that, the more comfortable I'm getting not having the hernia belt on and being confident that I can, you know, walk around and do stuff without having the hernia belt on. So it's awesome, man. So, um, yeah, so if you got any questions, hit me up. Um, and uh, check out the website, mynaturalherniacure.com, and uh, you can read about everything that I've been doing, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. All right, I'll keep you posted, guys. Thanks. Have a good day.